Hey guys, in this series I'm making VR shoes, the current version shown here. They let you walk in VR using your actual legs without walking into an actual wall. I've got several features I added to the support rig to show, so let's get started. First up, I added hooks that go onto the support rig near where the harness is attached. I can hang my headset and controllers on these hooks. When I'm all strapped into the rig, I can easily grab the headset and controllers and start playing. When I'm done, it's easy to put the headset and controllers back on the hooks while I'm getting out of the rig. The next feature I added is a part that I put on the swivel that allows me to quickly store all of the rig, the whole rig up at the ceiling when I'm not using it, out of the way. The next feature isn't exactly a new one. I reintroduced a bungee cord to the setup. This bungee cord negates the weight of the sliding parts of the support rig. So this sliding part here, it doesn't weigh that much, but it does weigh enough to cause a small issue. You may have noticed in videos in the past where when I'm using the rig, I will sometimes pull up on the harness. I'll like pull it up with my arms. That's because the weight that the sliding part adds, it pulls the harness down a little bit and that's a little bit uncomfortable. So I'll pull it back up. The bungee solves that issue where it's holding it right here. Uh, this is a good spot for me where I'm comfortable and the rig isn't going to slide down like this to where I have to pull it back up. The bungee is going to keep it in the exact position I want. It doesn't pull up on me, it doesn't pull down. And then when I crouch, it's also going to pull it right back up into the right position. Up here where the top of the bungee is held, this is a clamp. You can loosen these screws and you can slide the clamp up and down wherever you need it to be so that whatever height you're at, you can adjust this thing so that it holds the sliding part at your preferred height. I just have the tape here to mark where I like it to be. The next feature is a small change I made to the VR shoes. To recap, each VR shoe has a stopper on the front and back. These stoppers get pushed into the ground when you lift your heel or your toes. I made it so that these stoppers are adjustable, specifically how close they are to the ground. It's easy to see this in the design. I made three sizes and you can see that they are all different distances from the ground. It's easy to swap between three different sizes as I show here. You just take the screws out and put the new piece on and then put the screws back in. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the platform that I'm walking on. So first I tried to use some carpet tiles. Carpet tiles are cheap. They can't bunch up like a rug can and the underneath is kind of grippy so they don't move around very much. I used some carpet tape to combine four carpet tiles together. The bunch is pretty light and I can fold it up to make it easy to carry. The issue with the carpet tiles is compared to the rug I'm using now, it's much harder to move my feet. I can walk on the carpet tiles, but there's a lot of resistance. Maybe the carpet tiles are just too thick, so the wheels kind of just sink into them. I took the stoppers off to make sure that those weren't causing the resistance and they weren't. Maybe there are thinner carpet tiles that I can try in the future. So for now, I decided to just use a four foot by four foot, three fourths inch sheet of plywood that I had lying around. Then I took this thin rug and I stapled it to the wood and that was that. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. See you guys later.